see what this is all about. Hey, Mikata, what's going on? Uh, thanks to Devolver Digital for sending me a copy of this game so I can check it out for you. Not sponsored, but the key was provided. Let's see what this is all about. This is Country Time Lemonade music, not Shark. Country Time Lemonade. <laughs> All right, this game includes profanity and depictions of suicide, death, violence, and gambling. If it's not, it's not suitable for children. Okay. Oh, I did not even anticipate needing a gamepad. Let's get that set up. There we go. Choose your difficult. The gambler, the con artist, join a high stakes world where only the elite will thrive. Death is permanent in this mode. Or the, the dilettante, enjoy the story without losing a drop of perspiration. All right, I'm gonna go with the gambler. He broke even. In his final words, I found an ace that I could keep. What? My dear player, it is with the utmost diligence that I must warn you against the hazards of this game. It will teach you secrets that will turn you as easily into a beggar as into a king. It is based on the Memoir Sans Parole, a dangerous manuscript I unearthed in my beloved Bon Bokiniste. Uh, what? I'm going to butcher a lot of words in this. Of the Nine Rue Blanche. Be careful as you play through these fateful events and unravel the destiny of the Forgotten Queen. For here lies the work of the devil. Trickery right there. There's some trickery. It all began on a misty morning of 1743 near Pau in the south of France. It's Miss Porter House. Come here. Did your majesty have a good nap? I don't give a tinker's damn. Patrons are coming to work now. Okay, can I pet the dog? doing fidgeting like a salmon about meeting a crew. If you're about to have one of your convulsions, then you'd best make sure my customers don't see it. Come on, lad. You need to earn your keep. Smile. That's my boy. Now do your job. Alright, the Comte de Saint-Germain. You, lad, come pour me a drink. Too little. A bit more than that, please. I'm thirsty. That was a good pour right there. Hey, Moogle Tart. Hey, it's Moogle Tart. Hurts. <laughs> hey. Many thanks, lad. Now, why don't you keep me company? Take a seat. Uh, sit. That chair is fine. I couldn't help but notice your mistress is rather rough with you. Can't you speak? You can't? How fascinating, indubitably linked to these seizures your mistress spoke so of so fondly. The ancient Greeks believed people like you possess prophetic abilities, you know. Load of nonsense, if you ask me. Either way, you strike me as an intelligent fellow. Hmm, would you like to earn some extra cash? Yes. That can only mean yes. Listen closely. There's enough money to be made. There's plenty more to lose. I'm going to play. I think you give pretty good advice and great tea. The key to both is proper aging. How you done? I'm going to play a game of cards tonight, and I'm going to win, thanks to you. But before I explain my plan, I have a question. Do you know what suits, clubs, hearts, spades, and diamonds are? Yes. Good. On to the plan then. 
You will serve us wine as we play and peek at my opponent's cards. Then you'll signal to me the best suit in his hand, whichever he has the most of. But how will you signal, hmm? I know, after serving the wine, you will take your cloth and wipe the table in a pattern corresponding to that suit. That made sense, I hope. Yes, good. Let's discuss the wiping patterns. <laughs> that's a little that's a little personal and gross. <laughs> All right. For hearts, you will wipe in a clockwise circular motion. Oh god, I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to forget all this stuff. All right, for hearts, it's clockwise. I have to write this down cuz I'm a dork. If his best suit is spades, why put an anti-clock- anti-clockwise? Okay. If you see majority of diamonds, why- in a straight line up and down. Okay. Diamonds up and down. And finally, clubs, wipe the table side to side. Okay. Excellent, you seem to be getting the hang of it. I've thrown a lot at you, I know, but we should try the next trick? Yes. Now, let's have you peek over my shoulder as you pour me a fresh drink. When you've seen my hands, signal to me the best suit. Ready to give it a try? I'm gonna mess this all up. I didn't see what he had at all. I didn't see what he had at all. Hey! Better be lucky than good. Well done, lad. It seems we have ourselves a plan. It was quick and you have to not over pour at the same time. The bottle of Cahors. Okay. I take it you've had enough practice? Yes. Wonderful. Meet me in the back here tonight, and we'll talk about making some real money. All right. Sounds good. I'm gonna go swindle people. And apparently I don't talk and I have seizures. Where has he gone? The gentleman who was at this table. He didn't pay for his wine. I'll have to dock that from your wages. He swindled me, too. Hmm. Later that day. I'm in luck tonight. You, on the other hand, you will probably die soon on the gallows or on the, of the pox. That will depend on whether I embrace your principles or your mistress. Be careful, sir. My apologies. I spoke in jest. Let me refill your cup. Oh, God. This is it. This is going to be me. How much do you want to bet? How about five levers? Is it levers? How do you say that? Levers? Lever? 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 Five? Five dollars. Five lemurs. I like that. The bet is five. Okay. Remember, performance anxiety, the reminder section is there if you need a refresher on technique. Okay. He had clubs. Uh. Okay. What? How did you do that? Just the luck of the draw, my good man. A drink and everything will be forgotten. What am I doing? Ooh, bet times two. Okay. So spades, that's a good pour. Nice. Wipe that grin off your face. 
Ah, oh, the sort of setback happens to everyone, my good friend. Only yesterday I lost a fortune. You know what I did? I had a drink. Allow me. Young man, fortune favors me. I think I deserve another drink before we keep playing. Would you be just so kind as to refill my cup? Um, more drink. Many thanks, lad. I'll say when. You played the first rounds well, lad. But look to our opponent and you can see he's starting to get suspicious. Uh-oh. I fear it won't be long before he's had enough. Uh-oh. Damn, we've been discovered. Why, what did I do wrong? Oi, what are you two whispering around over there? Nobody cheats me. Somebody do something. <laughs> That's unfortunate. That's a shame. Forgive me, lad. I got a little carried away. The law will soon be upon us. We need to go now. That odious fellow appears to have left his purse. How careless. Okay, well that was all unexpected. Camp of the Cascaro, edge in France the following morning. Magician. Irenio, my friend, do you hear that in the breeze? The rustle of leaves and the murmur of the nearby brook. Yes, our good friend, the Comte, has come. Why are all the people, like, behind me? We will stop here for a while. Why? The gentleman who killed your patroness is Colonel Gabriel, commander of the Baron Regiment. It won't be long until he accuses you of this murder. What? I'm afraid you make the perfect scapegoat. Your animosity with the deceased is well known. You are poor, young, and mute. And you fled the crime scene with a notorious thief. Me. But do not worry, we're safe here. This is the camp of the Cascaro. They are friends. They don't talk. And like all the other Romani in France, they fall between the cracks. They're invisible, a bit like you. Make yourself at home. I need to talk to the magician. Do, 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 do. All right. You guys got any snacks? <laughs> now I'm Now I'm blocking him. be friendly and uh board and smiling foolishly look at the clouds are you done making faces good good for you so you're the new pet of the dear Comte de Saint Germain no, don't answer that. My name is Irenio Funes, cheat and humble artist of the shadows. I tricked my fellow man for money and adventure. Would you like to learn magic? Yes. I thought you might say that. It's called Three Card Monty. During the Hundred Years' War, an English lord lost the entirety of his estates over this game. Which is a very English thing to do. Then, he threw himself off the White Cliffs of Dover. Which is a very French thing to do. So follow closely. Do you see the Queen here? Yes. I'll put her here. Now follow the Queen closely. Shh. 
Show me where the queen is. Great. Great. Magic, isn't it? <laughs> best quote is best quote. Um, Magic, isn't it? It's a simple trick, really. All in the motion, the flow. I trust you understood all that. Why not show off what you've learned to the magician? Uh, I didn't learn anything. Fine, there's a bit more to it than that. I was playing with you. Oh, I was supposed to go somewhere else. I thought this was the magician. I'll show you how it's done. Start by flipping the cards over. Good. Pick them all up and show them to me. Oh, fudge ripple. Stop, stop, stop. You're reforming here, understand? That means everything has to be at the right pace. Too fast and people won't want to bet. Too slow and they'll know you're a cheat. Keep the rhythm and let's try again. Oh, God. Start by flipping the cards over. Now pick them all up and show them to me. Now, for the important part, the secret that makes it work. You can either play fair and put the queen down, or cheat by putting down the card behind it. <laughs> okay. I'm never going to be able to cheat when there's live people here. Oh, what, what is it when it goes into the inner circle? I don't even know what the, the UI is telling me here. Is it just any? Okay. No. It's got to be anywhere in that gray. Okay, it's anywhere in that darker gray area. Okay. What did you choose? Don't tell me. I chose to not put the queen down. Now for the fun part. Mix them up. Be careful to keep a good rhythm. All right. Now take your time and swap two cards. Make it look deliberate. Time for me to choose. Very good. I didn't even see you cheat. I think you're ready now. Okay, the three card Monty. Hmm. I've learned it. Back again, are we? I can re explain everything. Or do you prefer to practice directly? Uh, leave. I think we're good. Let's go in here and show them what we learned. McGregor is probably after you already. Well, it's not the under it's not the uncertain hand of chance that has me in this dump. I'm glad you apprentice my hospitality. Oh, appreciate it. Sorry. At least it smells better than Versailles. Come in, boy. I was waiting for you. Yes, come meet the magician. I'll wait outside. The Comte seems to think you have abilities. Check me. So good at this. No, no, no. Too obvious. Deceive me. Got him. Magnificent. Time for me to show you a trick then. I'm going to teach you how to read an opponent's mind. I'll prove it to you now. In fact, I'm so confident in my abilities, I'll put 40 gold on the line. I'll take that as a yes. 
pick a card, any card from the deck and place it on the top. Remember which one you chose. King of Hearts. Good. The card you chose is on the top and you remember it. Yes. Excellent. Now pick a number. Let's say between two and five. Five. All right. Now watch this. I'm going to shuffle the deck and then cut it. What's he doing? Abracadabra. I know where your card is in the deck. Remember the number you chose? Watch. One. Two. Three. Four. According to the number you picked, the next one should be your card. <gasps> Amazing! Oh my god! How did he do that? That's my card, yes. I should just lie. No. I should have seen that coming. Nice try, but there's no way I bet money if any risk was involved. I can see that look in your eye. It's always the same. You want to know how I did it. I'm willing to explain since you showed such promise with the three card Monty. Okay. Don't make you giggle while you're eating yogurt. Oh, okay. Can you let me know when you're done and then I'll be funny? Thanks. All right. So I've chosen my card, the Ace of Diamonds, and placed it at the top of the deck. For the time being, let's keep it simple. I'll choose the number one. That means all we have to do is keep the Ace at the top. Let's see what happens if we start shuffling. At first, we start mixing the cards. We can keep an eye on the ace. But if we keep shuffling, we quickly lose track of it. Damn. Let's reset the deck and see what we can do different. Start shuffling again, but only drop a clump of cards once. At this stage, we know the ace is at the top of the pile in our bottom hand, but if we keep shuffling, we'll lose it. I suppose you're wondering how I keep track of your card when I shuffled and cut the deck before. You're right to look suspicious. The trick is to put a marker next to our card so we can find it later, even after more shuffling. You do this by dropping one card onto the pile and offsetting it slightly. This is called in-jogging. Remember it well, boy. Now that's it. Now you can shuffle the rest without worrying about losing the ace. Great, now we know where the ace is. But we wanted it at the top, not somewhere in the middle. So now what? That's where cutting comes in. We can feel for the injog marker with our fingers and cut the deck at that point. The next card down was our ace, remember? So when we recombine the piles, it'd be back on top of the deck. But why trust me? Let's allow the cards to do the talking. Voila! As if by magic, the Ace of Diamonds back at the top of the deck. Let's see if you understood that. Try shuffling and cutting. Make sure the Ace gets back to the top at the end. Okay. I've already fudged it up. Beautiful. Let's see if we got it right. Ta-da! Would you like to practice it again? Mm, I don't know. Nice shirt. Thank you. You like it? It's Twitch. Yeah, you got a brand new Twitch shirt. Yay. Is it comfortable with that tag in the back? I don't think that. You don't feel it? No. I think that might drive me crazy. I'm learning how to trick people with cards. Nice. Nice. Have you anybody yet? Not anybody real. Oh. But we watched somebody get murdered, so... Uh, so that okay. happened. Yeah. I don't think anybody was expecting that in the opening scene. All right, let's move on. All right, let's take this trick up a, a gear. Think about what we learned already. By the end of the trick, we wanted the ace at the top of the deck. And sure enough, we dealt out some cards and the ace came out first. But the real trick is a bit more impressive. You'll let somebody else choose the ace's position. You see, boy, giving your target the feeling that they're in power is the key to pulling the rug out from underneath their feet. So with that in mind, imagine I'm your mark and I've chosen the number four. You need to offset the ace with three other cards. 
That means when you deal, the ace won't be first, but fourth. I'll teach you how to add these offsetting cards whilst you shuffle. I'm done with my yogurt. Now you can be funny. All right. Thanks, Mugledart. I had so many good jokes lined up there that I just held in. Erox says, when I was a kid, I had a deck of cards that was slightly tapered towards one side. You could do this by inserting the card in the deck, rotating 180 degrees and easily pull it out. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Is that called a stripper deck, Doom Prophet? Oh, interesting. All right, let's start as we did before. Shuffle some cards down once, just like earlier. Now, before in jogging, we need to offset the ace to the correct position. Drop three more cards one at a time. Okay, now create myself an in jogging card. And all that's left to do is shuffle the rest of them out. Okay. All right. Little, little, uh, all right. So shuffle. In jog. Offset. Okay. Perfect. Now let's see if we can do it. There's nothing more embarrassing than messing up a magic trick, so keep practicing. All right. This time I picked the number two. No problem. One. Oops, I fudged it up already. I messed it up. I messed it up. That's wrong. That's wrong, wrong, wrong. I'll choose the number four. Okay, so it's going to be... Done. One. Two. Why are you not working? Here we go. All right. And I got an achievement party trick. Souvenirs, novelties, party tricks. Would you like to practice it again? Nope, I think we're good. Care to prove yourself again? Three card Monty. Oh, we're doing this again. out here we're gonna start making some big money you tricked the magician i hope you didn't sign away your soul when i've been working so hard to earn it what oh come on lad it's not like you've sold it to death itself so you're part of the family now we share everything here including our gains everything we give to the camp will be given a good use it's like a poor people's bank we support the elderly and the ones who can't work anymore like irenio I also hope that one day we could use that money to change things for real in this country. I will give 20. Your half of the money is yours to spend how you want. We would appreciate if you could spare some for our cause. What do you think? Should I give 20 like him too? I'll give 10, right? He seems to be mad if I do more than him. How funny is that? All right, I will do the same. Okay. We all give what we can. Thank you. Hi, Phantom Lord. We're all done here. We should keep moving. Journal. Find a record of your adventures in the journal. All 
things have a right to grow. Hey, Gardener Girl. Okay, so where can we go? Banner is minimum bet. Ten. Ten. Parliament's Cafe. Let's go to the cafe. In Toulouse. We're heading to Toulouse. A city on the verge of hysterical frenzy is the best place to make a profit. Why? I heard a Protestant merchant killed his own son to prevent him from converting to Catholicism. The bigots are scandalized, the people enraged, the gentry suspiciously silent. As far as scams go, it's pretty crude, but you have to recognize a certain Gaelic uh, uh, effic efficacy. The trial starts tomorrow. The whole city will be busy, noisy, and distracted. We cannot let this opportunity pass. Before I get to explaining our next strategy, do you need a refresher on card values? No. Good. The magician showed you a technique that allows you to maintain and offset a stack, didn't he? Yes. Whilst you now have a strong foundation to work with, the technique has some flaws. Fiddling around with the deck of the table is just too risky. So how else can we stack the deck? How? You use something I called the full harvest. That sounds naughty. You will collect cards at the end of a round so they fit, sit favorably in the deck during the next one. Picture in your mind how the cards will fall if you're the dealer. Because I'm sitting to your right, I will be dealt. Uh, this is. I already can predict. This is about to get to a different level that's going to scramble my brain. Alright, because I'm sitting to your right, I will be dealt last. That's where we want high value cards. Pick up the card clumps in an order that ensures I'll end up with a high card when you deal. How? No, lad, that's not correct, I'm afraid. All right, so wait, wait. Six, seven, okay, so I gave him a four. I have to pick up, all right, you need to pick up that clump from right to left. Give it another try. Oh, you want him first. Okay, I got it. It's too soon to be grabbing that clump, lad. I won't be get the the strong card. Oh my God, all right. It's the other clump first. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, so we pick up this clump first. Doesn't matter which way. And then we want to pick this one up. Right to left. No, I screwed it up again? How? I can't... Left to right, okay. So this will be left to right. No, I... What? Is he changing the order on me? So we need this. There we go. I finally got it. Perfect. I'm guaranteed a lovely strong card when you deal. Make sure I get three high value cards this time. What? Oh my god, I'm gonna mess it all up. Hey, LV, what's going on? We're trying to cheat in cards, um, and we're probably gonna get killed. Okay. Did I want to do that? I didn't want to do that, did I? Uh. I got them okay cards. Uh. I did mess up. 
Okay, so... We can start here. And then go here. And he gets a queen. Okay. And then if we're going to do a pile of four... I need the pile. So this would be... Let's do a one. And then a pile of three. And we want him to get... The last of them. So you got two queens. Okay, and then let's give him the king. And we want to do this one. See, when it's upside down, how do I want to do it? I guess left to right? Okay. Would you like to move on to the next part of the plan? I guess. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Imagine you just collected the cards from the table. Think about how we arrange them and how they'll be dealt out. Every fourth card will be dealt to me. Thanks to you, they all have high values. But of course, we can't just start dealing yet. Yeah, we have to shuffle. Okay, so I'm going to have to offset. Or pretend to, at least. Allow me to introduce you to the art of ineffective shuffling. Drop some cards. Don't leave your stack behind. Our favorable stack is now at the bottom, still in order. The rest of the cards will pile up on top. We eventually want to bring the ordered cards back to the top undisturbed. To help with that, we need to mark in the deck. One card poking out to do the trick. This is called in-jogging, yes. All right, well, in jog. Now drop the rest of the cards. Okay, good. Now you'd offer for me to cut since we're such fair and honorable players. Watch how I use my fingers to find your in jog card. Then you can combine the cards by putting the pile on top. And that's it. All right, we're gonna rehearse. Okay, so he's over there on the fourth. All right, so where do we want to pick up first? Um, these don't matter. Okay. And... Um... No. No, so none of this, none of this is going to work well, is it? Ah, uh, none of these, none of these uh, combos will work. Uh, oops. Oh no, we can do it like this. We'll do it like that, and then we can give him an ace. There we go, that's good. Hey, Croxy, what's going on? Hey, I remember you having a creator code on Epic Games. What was it again? Uh, I was going to get the new Borderlands. Cruxy, thank you so much. It's uh, Bog Otter. B-O-G-O-T-T-E-R. All one word. Yeah, thanks, Cruxy. How have you been? All right, so now we need to shuffle. We're going to go shuffle down once. And then we're going to put our inset in. And then shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Give him the cut. He's going to take half off. Here we go. We'll deal it out. And perfect. Okay, we can do this. The disheveled gatherer. I've been pretty good, Cruxy. We can wrap up and uh, rest before our arrival if you'd like. All right, let's rest. I see the capital. We've arrived. Remember, the stakes are getting higher, lad. We cannot be discovered.